third and 33. That ball is sitting in the all the way back to the 36-yard line. Still in their own territory are St. Martinville. They're at the near side hash mark. There's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Just throws the screen. He's got it's complete. The Wobbles catch dragging down from behind, but they my goodness, these, these guys are hard to bring down. They're gonna ball's gonna be all the way down to the uh across the forty five out to about the forty seven yard line. My goodness, what a they just keep pulling these guys. Yeah, just a little slip screen. Now a fourth down for the Tigers, and it looks like finally the Cats are going to make them punt. Uh, the punter will be uh, standing back at about the 34-yard line. I, would, I only see one man back there, Sawyer. There's the snap. He will get it away. It's an endo, kind of a wobbly spiral. It's going to hit down there by Sawyer. Sawyer takes it. He'll advise. But uh, he has it at the 21-yard line. Down he goes. Cats will take over right there. Ball, he cut it on a bounce. Yeah, he got away from two defenders and ran. actually ran past them. But number 44 of the Tigers stepped up and brought him down. But uh, Cats finally made a stop. 28-21 is their score. 8.07 left to go third quarter. All right, let's score right here. I formation for Mount is under center. All right, never everybody's ready. Every, one man to the split out to the near side. That's Tolbert. Everybody else in tight. Mount calls for the football. Hands it straight ahead to to uh, Gallishaw. Gallishaw is going to be wrapped up. Going to maybe get a yard. Let's we'll see. I don't know. They had. It's like it's going to be a loss if they put the ball where they. Yeah. Well, the uh, the down marker hadn't moved. No, it hadn't. It has it. So they they don't they give him forward progress back to the original line. All right, Caleb Gallasaw with the football, and he's going to go gain about three or four. Going to be out to about the twenty-four yard line. So that's going to bring up third down and about seven for the Wampus Cats. Important important series of downs right here for the for the Leesville Wampus Cats. Near side hash mark. They're moving from left to right. Mount marks out the signals. He's got one man in the backfield with him from the spread. Calls for the football, looking to throw. Throws it over there. It's tipped up into the air. Incomplete. Incomplete. That brings up fourth down for the Cats right there. And you can see Ben Ward probably coming in for the Cats. Yeah, Let's go down to Charles Owens for an awkward motors sideline report. Yeah, I think Noah Lane had actually some separation. Was I don't know where that ball was heading, but he looked, looked like Noah had some separation. I'm kind of surprised we hadn't done a drag across the middle with Noah tonight. All right, Ben uh, Mount will be standing about, excuse me, Ben Ward will be standing at about the 10-yard line. There's Snap. He gets it away. It's a mm-hmm. nice looking punt. It's going to go, go out of bounds. At about the 45-yard line, and uh, so that, that one hugged, hugged the sidelines, didn't it? I thought that ball was going to hit the ground and take a roll, but it didn't. Now they'll St. Martinville will have it in good field position right at the 45-yard line. Six minutes, 58 seconds left to go. Third period, 28-21. St. Martinville leads. Catch defense. Uh, you know, we we needed to score right there. Yeah. Because, exactly. You know, our, our ability to stop St. Martinville has been have been few and far between. In fact, we stopped them once. All right, there's a snap. Quarterback hands it to number 13, who's driving, still falling forward. Going to go get about five yards. Going to be out to the to right at midfield, but he dragged three or four Wampus Cats with him. Big number, big Trevion Benjamin, quite the load to bring down. Yeah, I mean they're just just hot you know, pounding that uh, defensive line, and you're picking up five yards on first down. It makes it really, really tough, and they've been doing that all night long. All right, here come the Wampus Cats defense. Quarterback from St. Martin, middle of the field, moving from right to left, are they? There's the snap. Quarterback keeps it, and he's got it wide open space. I don't know if anybody's going to catch him, and they they have him down inside the five-yard line. It's going to be first and goal for St. Martinville. Yeah, that quarterback is quite the athlete. 
he just shoots down the field, makes a heck of a run. And I think that was uh, Christian Person, who was playing a defensive back, comes off of his man and, and makes the tackle. But first and goal now for the Tigers from the Wampus Cat six yard line. Oh, my goodness. We just let that quarterback just, you know, just quarterback. Uh, little number two is on a keeper. And uh, <clears throat> high formation for St. Martinville. Quarterback hands it to the tailback. Benjamin. Benjamin is hit and dragged down. No gain, I don't believe. They're going to have him right down at the six-yard line still. So, second and goal from right between the five and the six-yard line. That's where the line judge has got his foot. <laughs> the clock is ticking down to 5.30 to go here in the third quarter. Cats already down a score, 28-21. Be nice to get a turnover right here. Sure would. High formation for St. Martinville. There's the snap. 13. No, he had quarterback keeper. He's going to go down. Loot the loss of a couple. Going to be back all the way to the 10-yard line. Bring up third down and goal from the 10-yard line. Wampus Cat defense did a nice job right there. Five minutes left to go in this third period of play. Sahina, Davis, and Phillips. That'll all get that tackle. That Walsh nest, that red Walsh nest, lighten them up. High formation, near side hash mark is St. Martinville. Catch trail by a touchdown. You feel like they need to stop them right here. Third down. Quarterback keeps it. No, he caught, hands it to number 18, who just keeps rolling through the Wampus Cat defense. He's going to have a touchdown. St. Martinville. Yeah, that was a nice run there by the tailback, Benjamin. And uh, he just power back as he gets into the end zone from the 10-yard line. Well, you know, he ran the last man to hit him was number five for the Wampus Cats, Darius Allen. And... That guy had about 10 pounds on Darius, so he did everything he could do. And it was included falling on his rear. But that's all right. Darius knows he got to hit the weights next year. There's a snap for the extra point. It's high, and they gets it down. It's up, and it's good. So 35 to 21, your Wampus Cash Trail. We got four minutes and 30 seconds left to go. In this third period, here on All American Country 93.5, KJAE. So, what if you're walking out to your car after work today and find that it's been mashed by a runaway garbage truck? We've got an agent for that. Having your own State Farm agent means having a real person there when things go wrong. So when accidents happen, you'll have someone you know who'll be there when you need them. Jim Williams in Leesville is that State Farm agent. He's got your back when things go wrong. Give Jim Williams a call today at 239-0468. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Whether your project is below ground, above ground, or you're just breaking ground, United Rentals has the equipment and tools you need. We rent and sell everything from forklifts and backhoes to scissor lifts, pumps, and power HVAC. We also offer a complete range of industrial tools for any job, small or large. Count on United Rentals for the world's largest rental fleet, backed by a team of equipment experts ready to help you get the job done. Please visit our location in Leesville or call the store at 337-392-2224 and ask about our weekend specials. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. There is the kick. It's going to go out of bounds at, a, at a, inside the 15-yard line, but that's going to mean the Wampus Cats will have it at the 35-yard line at the near side hash mark. The score, for those of you who are watching Facebook Live, 35-21, to 21, your Cats trail, but they have the football. There's the pitch out to Caleb Gallishaw. Gallishaw's going to the far side. Got the first down, gain of about 14 or 15 yards. First down, Wampus Cat. Well, how about that play as they've been, you know, trying to run it up the middle between the guard and the tackle, and this time they get it outside and the speed takes over. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just Now I have it. a concussion. I just whacked my cohort with my elbow. All right, there's the snap. And Dante Gallishaw with the football. Going to be right close to another Wampus Cat first down. Yeah, just a quick strike lineup go really quickly over there between uh, Westfall and Anderson. Picks up nine yards, second and less than a yard. All 
All right, there's the snap. Caleb, Dante with the football, falls forward and falls out forward for about nine yards. He's going to have another Wampus Cat first down. Let's go down to Charles Owens. Fern Alford Motors sideline report. It's a good team we're playing here, folks. When our guys get to the second level, they hit our people low. They're not trying to arm tackle. This is a good team we're playing here, but a great run by both Galashaws. How about Tyler Hankel with that big block out there? Hey, I like that. All right, Mount with a man in motion, and he right straight up the middle goes Galashaw. He gains about five or six yards again, and you know what I like right there is uh, I saw uh, Tolbert come in and block right there, right in the middle. I believe that was Tol Nope, that was 16. Jeff yeah, that's Hinkle. Hinkle coming in, in, coming in at his end, and just kind of trailing right in front of the, uh, right behind it, kind of leads the block. There he goes again. Now they're going to change the play. Hinkle sets back up. Mount calls for the football from the shotgun, throws it out here into the flat. Tolbert has it. Tolbert's going to have to get rid of a couple of them, but he keeps driving, falls forward inside the 20 to about the 17-yard line. That's going to be another Wampus Cat first down. That's what you say, taking a ball, moving it down the field. 2.56 to go, third quarter. Cat's now down by two scores, 35-21. But you see any quit in these Wampus Oh, there, cats? they're getting it. Okay. Heck no. All right, here come the near side hash mark on the Wampus Cats. There's the snap. Uh, Galashaw and takes the handoff, and he falls forward across the 15 down to about the 14-yard line. Good hard nose running right there. Gain of about four. Bring up second down and six for the Wampus Cats. Again, near side hash mark. Yeah, uh, Galashaw just taking his time, uh, trying to find a gap, waiting for something to develop. Finds a little seam. All right, here come the Wampus Cats. There's the handoff again to Gallishaw. Gallishaw just falls forward right at the inside the five yard line. So that's going to be first and goal. Wampus Cat. You know, I like the fact he's, he comes down to the sideline. He waits, sees the hole, turns on the Jets. Boom, picks up the first down. All right, eye formation. Gallishaw and Gallishaw in the backfield. Caleb with it. Caleb turns it upfield. He's into the end zone for the score. 35 20. Six. How about, how about seven extra points pending? Westfall having a heck of a game tonight. Good block out there, opening up that, that hole there and just letting him go through again. Westfall pulled on that play. Yeah, that was uh, nicely done. All right, Brett Pope will be the snapper. Off power the holder. Ben Ward, the kicker. Snap. Place. A little high. Gets it down. It's up. And it is no good. So that may come back and bite us. 35 to 27, your Leesville Wampus Cats trail. Two minutes left to go in this third period here on All-American Country 93.5 KJ. Hey, Thrifty Way Pharmacy, an independently owned pharmacy, prides itself on bringing you a great selection of good things, starting with good taste. Happy parents know Thrifty Way adds flavoring to kids' medicine to make it taste so much better so you don't have to hold them down to get it down. Speaking of kids, they'll love the Dippin' Dots at Thrifty Way Pharmacy. And everybody loves their free popcorn. But if you're in a hurry, there is a convenient drive through plus local delivery within the city limits. Thrifty Way Pharmacy is proud to serve you. Across from Bird Hospital in Leesville. Back by popular demand through November 30th, the reprocessed vehicle sale at Alford Motors. Find hundreds of quality pre-owned vehicles starting at $89 a month. If you're interested in buying a used vehicle, you must attend this event. Select vehicles from top manufacturers, all priced well below NADA value. Local banks have agreed to help buyers finance regardless of past credit history at Alford Motors in Leesville. 13 months to 2. Stock number C18207B. Sell price $59.95. Plus tax debt license. 78 months based on 3.99% with approved credit. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. All right, there's the kick. Oh, it's an onside kick. Wampus Cat say they have it. I don't know. Yes, they we do. do have the football. That is 35 to 27. Your Wampus Cats trail, but the onside kick worked to perfection. Oh, right how about there. that? Was well, that ever put a little spark <laughs> into that? Uh, football team across the way there. They, man, they were just uh, all full of excitement. The crowd, the packed house over there across the way, they're getting loud now. First down and 10. Wampus Cats at the Tiger 43-yard uh, line. Yes, in their own territory. Great job. High formation for the Cats. There's the snap. Gallasaw 
uh, Dante with the football falls forward for about six yards. That's going to bring up second down and about four. You got to love that. Yeah, just uh, eat up some clock here. We're down to 155 to go third quarter. Still have a lot of time left to go in this ball game. All right, Mount has got one back in the backfield with him. Right now he's in the spread formation with Dante Gallishaw in the backfield with him. Hinkle is in motion. Now he comes back to the near side. Tobert is split out to the near side. Sawyer to the far. There's the snap. And the handoff is straight ahead. He's going to have another Wampus Cat first down. Dante Gallishaw. Now I think I hear Mr. Chuck Owens tapping on his microphone. Let's go down to him for an Alford Motors sideline report. Yeah, I want to explain real quick what's going on. We're using a formation we haven't used all season. Thank goodness there are coaches who adjusted. Tyler Hinkle's making some great blocks. Yes, he is. There's the snap fake, the pump fake. He's going to throw it out here to Tobert. Tobert has it. Touchdown, Wampus Cat. On the, they bit on the pump fake. That separated the wide receiver and the defender by about two or three yards, which is all DeJuan Tobert needed. Wow. This I, looks like football, folks. Yeah, about, only we better. are back up off the mat. How about, how about oh, the geez. time that that offensive line gets him to do the pump fake and then hit big Tobert in there? pick up the score now. Juan Tobert had a whale of a football game last week. This week, so far, that was as huge. That was as big as they come. 35-33. Your Wampus Cats will go for two right here to tie it up. Mount is in the shotgun. There's that same play with a man in motion. All right, now, now Mount's going to change the play. Play clock's down to 11. They not, I don't know if they're going to get this off or not. They're going to have to call timeout. Wampus can't call a timeout with the play clock down to two seconds. So they can, they take a timeout, 35-33. Your Wampus Cats trail, minute left to go in this third period of play. All-American Country, 93.5, KJAE. Mike Reese and American Moving and Storage has been serving this area for over 65 years. They congratulate all the Vernon Parish teams for their achievements in making such a successful year. Mike Reese knows it takes hard work and dedication to get to the playoffs, and these teams have shown that. Good luck to all the Vernon Parish teams from Mike Reese and American Moving and Storage. 35 to 33, your Wampus Cats never hit the mat like Charles said. They got off the mat, and that Wampus Cat Pride is shining through. 35-33, they're going for two to tie it up. We got a minute and 11 seconds left to go in this third period of play in third-round action, quarterfinal action here at uh, St. Martinville Tiger Stadium. I formation, mount under center, going for the two-point conversion. Uh, they look at the sidelines. Now they're changing the play as mount. Calls for the football, hands it to Caleb Gallishaw. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make it. I don't know. Oh, no signal yet. Oh, he was short, short. The oh. game of inches, folks. He was right there. A game right. of inches. Charles, what did you see? Okay, he must he must be on the phone or something. Oh my goodness. That one of the one of the St. Martinville Tigers is on the. They're giving it their all. And one of the St. Martinville players is down. And we're going to take a break here because we want to honor this young man. And hopefully everything's all right. Do not go anywhere, folks. 35-33, your Wampus Cash Trail. We still got one full quarter of play. Man, we got our game here in quarterfinal action. All-American Country, 93-5. K-J-A-E. In Louisiana, we have seen just about everything that nature can send our way. Through it all, our Vernon Parish Farm Bureau office has provided its policyholders with real service by real people when they needed it most. Go by the Farm Bureau office today, conveniently located in Leesville at 306 North 6th Street, or give David Rabelais a call at 337-238-1015. Farm Bureau Insurance, real service, real people. This is Christina Osteen 
with Sabine State Bank, inviting you to come visit me at our new location at 1340 Boone Street in Leesville. Sabine has a variety of banking tools to help make your financial decisions easier from commercial loans to mobile banking. We are here for you. Take the stress out of banking and come see me, Christina Osteen, at our new location, 1340 Boone Street in Leesville. Or call and set up an appointment today at 337-392-9706. Remember FDIC Equal Housing Window. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans, to St. Martinville, Louisiana. My goodness, what our, what a ball game we had. Number 10 for St. Martinville. I don't have a name for him, but that young man tried it off on his own, under his own steam. Mom, if you're well, listening, he tried it off. Now, there is the kickoff, and it's going to be taken. Are you kidding me? Ben Ward. Are ball. you kidding me? He's going to go right up the sidelines, and we have got to catch that young man. He goes out of bounds. He kicked, uh, Ben Ward kicked him out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A huge return. That that is like a. He was at the one foot line when he took me. the football. I, you know they had they had their hands team up. There was nobody back there. I mean I don't understand that, but uh, but I think the fact that he went into the end. But I, think, I, I, well. I thought. Uh, personal foul we got a personal against foul call against the St. Martinville. So uh, I didn't see the flag. I didn't either. Uh, let's go down to Charles Owens to see if he saw that. Did you? I, I did not see it. I was I was a little exasperated that we had the guy pinned back inside the two, and our coverage just broke down again. And uh, oh, you know, it, just, it happens with these kids. Uh, it was kind of a broken play. It was just a, a scary broken play. So fortunately for us, they committed a foul, and we're pushing them back. To their own 16. Yeah, well, uh, the, what ha- the flag was at the, at the 37. Yeah. Yep. All right. Our uh, Auburn Motor sideline reporter, Charles Owens. Now let's see if we can hold these guys. The Leesville trails by two. We're under a minute left to go in the third period. There's the snap. Number 13 coming to the near side. He's going to be racked up. Wampus can have him, but he just will not go down. He's going to be across the 30. 20 out to about the 20, close to the 24, 25 yard line. Short of the first down, second down and a yard. That is uh, uh, Tre- Trevion Benjamin on the carry. That young man is uh, he's quite the athlete. Without a doubt, that was a big pickup of nine yards. And real quick, my observation is he, he's hitting the holes and our guys are on their assignment, but he is a half step quicker than our guys. I mean, our guys are where they need to be. He is squirting past him because he's so fast. All uh, right. Benjamin standing in the backfield. A lone setback. The quarterback, number eight, hands it to Benjamin. Ah. And he's hit in the backfield, but uh, they're going to have to bring him down. But he's right at the first down marker. I, I don't know. Yes, they're going to give him a first down. He needed a yard. He got a yard plus two or three inches. Yeah, Mikael Phillips got in the backfield with him, and, but he did pick up the first down. Well, you know what? This is the fourth quarter. The Wampus Cats will thrive in the fourth quarter. They trail 35-33 to 33 in a barn burner of a game in third round action of the playoffs. You got to love this. If you don't, you're listening to the wrong thing. Here, you're, we're going to send it back to the station with some of the sponsors here on All-American Country. 93.5 H-A-A-E This message brought to you by Morris Insurance Agency Oh, hey, what happened to you? What's that you say? You threw your back out during a touch football game on Sunday? <gasps> and when they carried you off the field, they dropped you. Woo-hoo. Looks like you need to see the pros at Physical Therapy Services of West Louisiana at 301 West Fertitta Boulevard in Leesville. They'll evaluate you, give you a performance assessment, prescribe an exercise regimen and a specific treatment program just for you. Manual therapy, aquatic therapy, and more. Physical Therapy Services of West Louisiana, 238-9931. <laughs> St. Martinville with the ball at the 25-yard line. Quarterback's going to keep it, and he is stuffed. 
Nowhere to go, second down and 10, maybe 11. Uh, it's gonna, he might have lose, lost a half a yard. Spread formation for St. Martinville. There's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw down here. He's got a man there in the middle, but he can't see it. He can't get it to it. And uh, we're going to have to turn around. Uh, he's going to be out. He's going to be caught right there. They say he caught that yeah, ball. He did. he did. That was just That's great. A, great. And number 19 for the Wampus Cats was, had good coverage. He did. I tell you, that uh, David Foster, I believe. Uh, no, Christian Person on the on the coverage, and he, he was right there with it. Yeah, he had great coverage, and it was just one of those deals, just a fantastic catch by the wide receiver who just had, at, at both feet in there at the sideline. So, uh, you know. Near side hash mark are the St. Martinville Tigers. They're moving from left to right. Calls for the football, and they move yeah, forward. Finally, finally that uh, right tackle, I believe it was the same thing. Uh, it should back them up five. False start against them. So that's going to put them back to the Wampus Cat 46-yard line. 11 minutes and 16 seconds left to go in this contest. Leesville trailing by two points, 35-33. Spread formation. They, got, they send two wides to the far side, one to the near, one back in the backfield. Number 13 has the ball. Ah. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and gets away from him. Still driving him, people, inside the 30, down to around the 27-yard line. We just can't seem to bring him well, down. What's happening, as soon as they, they, ah. see, they see the handoff to the defense, uh, they converge in the middle, and there's a foul. He just bounced off the foul, went to the outside, picked up the first down all the way at the Wapiscat uh, 29-yard line. Trevion Benjamin is quite the load. Um, and uh, Markavian uh, Williams, the quarterback, he's pretty quick, too. There's the snap. Uh, Reed Opson, the quarterback, keeps it. Wow. He's going to go come around the sidelines. He's going to be down inside the 24, right, right around the 23-yard line. Second down and about five for St. Martinville. Yeah, they're just having a hard time containing him. Another big run. They're picking up five yards of chunk. 35-33, your Wampus Cash Trail. Ten minutes left to go in this game. Near side hash mark is St. Martinville. They send one wide to the near, two to the far. Number 13, Benjamin with the football. Breaks the line of scrimmage, still on his feet, and it takes three, Wamp four Wampus Cash to bring him down inside the 10-yard line. So that's going to be first and goal, St. Martinville. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's a hard runner right there. Yes. I mean, that, that, wish we had one of him. He's really soft. We need him to make a mistake. Uh, they're well coached. Big physical running team. That would be nice. High formation. There's a snap. Failback has it. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and there down. He goes. Number 12, Fahina. And also Darius Allen. Darius Allen on the stop for the Wampus Cats. They, if Fahina gets his hand on you, you're going down. I like uh, Fahina's. Uh, he, you know, he he'll make, he'll make a tackle from here to the when he's leaving. He'll make a tackle on the way to the bus. Yeah, second down and goal from the ten yard line. Second down, spread for uh, high formation for St. Martinville. They hand it. No, he keeps it. The quarterback going to the far side. Fahina makes him turn it upfield. He does his job. Is going to be going to gain a couple, but he's going to be down inside the ten at about the seven yard line. Fahina quickly uh, realized that that was going outside and got outside and turned everything up inside where all his help was. Whoever our defensive end was stayed home, did exactly as you teach them in the junior high ball. Yeah. Yeah, that was that naked boot again. Yeah. Huge play. Third down. Third down for the St. Martinville Tigers. That defense digs in. There's the snap. Quarterback keeps it. Rolls to the near side. Looking to throw. Looking to throw. Throws it out there. It's going to be Hawk for a touchdown. On the work. He, that was a great, I have to say. Yeah. He came back to his quarterback and helped him out. That's exactly what happened. You know, that was just a, uh, just a great football 
play. You have to give them credit, folks. Uh, The quarterback did a roll out to the right. And he yeah. had he was he was chased by our guys and he stayed out there until his men came open. Nice play by them. Uh, the, the point I was trying to make is the, the receiver. But some receivers, if they're not open, they just kind of stand there. He came back to his quarterback. There's a snap, the place, the kick, it's up and it's good. So let's see. I can't can't see that score, Jeff. Was that forty? Yeah, it's forty two. Forty two thirty three. Your Wampus Cats trail, but they're not out of it. Keep it right here on All American Country 93.5 KJAE. If you're building a new home or just want to redo your flooring, now is the time to get with Steve Keel, owner of S. Keel Leesville Flooring. Steve's got a great bunch of employees and a great holiday special. Get lifetime stain proof carpets starting at just $2.19 per square foot installed. Sheet vinyl starting at $0.69 cents per square foot. Waterproof vinyl starting at $2.59 per square foot. Or laminate 12 mil starting at $1.69 a square foot. Residential or commercial, get the job done right with S. Keel. Keel Leesville Flooring. Call 238-2888 or 337-523-0837 for a free estimate. Military and senior citizens receive 10% off. S. Keel Leesville Flooring on Alexandria Highway. I've watched enough football to realize that the hand team is in for the Wampus Cats. They're expecting an onside kick right here. Let's see what happens. They're getting ready to kick the ball off. 829 left to go in this game. And it's kicked off deep. And it's going to be taken out there. No. Uh, here we go. Nigel, I believe that was uh, Sawyer that had the ball hit him in the hand, and he fell on it, thankfully. Did it hit him in the face, man? Or hit him? Right in the face. Yeah, hit, it, hit him right. right he got the, the bounce. That could have been a disaster. Well, you don't. If their hands don't come out of your face. But if they do, you need to be in a theater and a carnival somewhere. Can I say that out loud? Inside boys. First, All right. first down and 10 from the Cats 25-yard line. 8.25 to go. 42-33 is the score. Gallishaw and Gallishaw in the backfield. Mount is under center right, center right now. Far side hash mark moving from right to left. There's the snap. Straight ahead handoff. Dante Gallishaw got the first down, I believe. Wow. Right to the first down. It's going to be shorter, maybe a short yard short, but that's just – Straight ahead running. He's, they're running right up the right side of that offensive line, Jeff. Yeah, he's, he's pounding away, just lowering his shoulder over there. And they've been doing a, doing a good job on that right side with Westfall and Anderson. All right, there's Caleb coming to the near side. He's going to fall forward for a Wampus Cat first down. Just shy of the 40-yard line, out to the 39 goes Caleb Gallishaw. But that's enough for another Wampus Cat first down. And... He's down. Number Caleb Gallishaw is down right now. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> As he walks up, hobbles off the field, he'll be fine. That's probably – you can best you rest assured he'll be back. He's, he's going off the sidelines. Caleb Gallishaw is the freshman running back who's had himself a whale of a season. Yeah, that was, that was hard running by him as well. Matthew Anderson helped him. Uh, you know that's big right there. Matthew, that's turning around, checking on his, checking on his tailback. First down and ten from the Wampus Cat 39-yard line. All right, now Dante Gallishaw's uh, only tailback in there with the in the, that time, and he is hit at the line of scrimmage and pushed backwards. Going to get forward progress, but he got a big. Big hit right there, Caleb Gallishaw. That was their number 44, and uh, Caleb has gotten the best of him most of the night until right then. Yeah, exactly. All right, Mount calls for the football from the shotgun, throws it out there into the corner. It's going to be caught by Tobert. Oh! Tobert, Tobert leans forward for a Wampus Cat. First down across midfield, down to about the 49-yard line. DeJuan Tobert knew where that first down marker was. Oh, man, that was a heck of a catch, and they actually had him short of the first down, and his big body, he just inched forward and then laid out and got the first down. Charles, I'm coming to you right after this play. All right, there's the snap with a man in motion. Hinkle coming to the near side, and Gallishaw is... Uh, Sanded the football. He's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Charles, sir. Alford Motors sideline report. Folks, we are just seeing an intense contest back and forth against two good teams. 
you know, we, uh, we couldn't ask for any better football than this. No question. No question. I am so, so happy to be a part of this right here. All right, right at midfield, all the Wampus Cats. There's the snap. Mount looking to throw. Throws it out there. It's going to be. Oh, oh, did he make that catch? No, Darius Sawyer. Incomplete. I'll tell you, the, the, wide, the cornerback was running step for step with him. Great defense. 635 left to go in this game. Third down and 11 for your Wampus Cats. We got to get a ball sitting right at midfield. We got to get inside the 40 yard line for a first down. See what happens. Punting's got to be over. We got to. We got to make the. Yeah, I would think so. Third and eleven. All right, Dante Gallasol is the only back back there with Mount. Man in motion. That's Sawyer. There's the jet sweep fake. Now he's looking to throw. Throws it there. It's caught. That is a and he a lane ball oh, forward. That? Brings. That's going to be fourth down and about three. Noah Lane on a uh, reception there on a screen play, middle screen. And uh, it's going to be short, but not because we're in a lot better shape than we were a while ago. Fourth and about three for the Wampus Cats. All right, Hinkle is in the backfield. Dot in the eye. Kalashaw is the up back. All right, Mount barking the barking the play out. There's the snap. He has the oh! Gallo Gallo oh! on his feet. He's gonna score. Oh! Stop the Gallashaw on the rope. Oh my goodness! Still in this game, people. What a what a play that was. Fourth down. On, on fourth, fourth down and three. <clears throat> On fourth down for the Wampus Cats, Caleb Gallishaw. Look, he I guarantee you he said to that offensive line, just open it up for me a little bit. Well, how about Lips and, and Lynch on that? I mean, that opened that hole up just so no big. big. No and big. he just ran through ran through one tackle and he was that was it. He was five right minutes and forty five seconds left to go in this contest. Forty two thirty nine. Extra point cats are gonna go for two right here. High formation. Dante Gallasol the up back and and uh, let's see I don't know uh, that was uh, a quarterback keeper no signal yet I think he was still so short inches inches, inches. short and uh, Mount on the quarterback sneak does not get in so 42 39 545 left to go in this contest we got ourselves a ball game don't go anywhere keep it right here all American country. 93.5 KJAE. Searching for a real-world tough ATV? Visit Motion Cycle Sports with a full line of Yamahas from the all-new Kodiak 450 with glass leading comfort starting at just $59.99 to the incredible Grizzly EPS. All Yamaha utility ATVs feature proven off-road capability, durability, and confidence-inspiring reliability. Visit Motion Cycle Sports just north of the Ritter on Highway 171 today. MSRP subject to change. ATVs are recommended for use only by riders age 16 years and older. Yamaha recommends and approved training course. See your dealer or call 1-800-887-2887. ATVs can be hazardous to operate. Well, you didn't wake up today expecting to hurt yourself, but here we are. Luckily, there's the Orthopedic Center of Louisiana. Let board-certified surgeon Dr. David Dulap have a look and get you on the road to recovery from your sprain, broken bone, or other injury. Orthopedic Center of Louisiana has been serving our area for over 20 years. So if you've been injured and are living with pain, bring it to Orthopedic Center of Louisiana, 239. 8,000. All insurance is accepted at Orthopedic Center of Louisiana at 500 South 6th in Leesville. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. You hear some booing. You hear some booing coming from the uh, fans over here on this side. But Coach Justin Scoggins is having having a little chat with that kickoff team. And I know what he's saying. Stay in your lanes and wrap up. Knock these guys out of bounds. So, at any rate, uh, Kickoff coverage has been iffy at best. Now, Ben Ward will be the kicker. Am I? What? Okay, I see the 11th guy. Okay. All right, they kick an onside kick again, and and Cats try to cover it up, but I believe I believe St. Martinville has this. Ah, uh, yeah, I think they do. Yeah, number five for St. Martinville just goes up and gets it and wraps it up. And... Uh, he makes a, a good recovery. 
So St. Martinville will have it right there. <clears throat> they have a short field. Again, epic battles between these two teams. Yeah, this has, been, this has been what we expected. Yes. 543 left to go in this contest. Cats trailing 42 to 39. Leesville defense needs to come up with another big stop. Can, can you ask them to do it again? Charles Owens, I'm coming down to you right after this play. Quarterback under center in high formation. Cats defense tries to get him down. At number 13 has the football, and wow. he's just driving. And he's hit at the line of scrimmage and pushes them forward down to about six or seven yards. Charles Owens, Alford Motor sideline report. You know, this game, guys, is going down like all of our other games have gone where we're in control, where the offensive line at the end of a game is doing it. And their offensive line is really uh, continuing to push holes out there for their guys trying to grind this clock out like we've done to everybody else. So 42 and our guys make a stop. 42-39, your catch trail. St. Uh, Martin, I want to say Sam Houston. St. Martin will with the football. Near side, right in the middle of the field are, are the Tigers of St. Martinville. High formation. Whoa! Big offensive line just – offensive lineman on this side just said, ah. The, he's quite a load. When he starts forward, everything yeah, goes Yeah, the whole forward. earth, I think the earth moves yeah. on his back. He's, he's, he's leaned a, a little bit. He's 350. I think he's like 6'5", 350. So, he falls forward. That's going to be false start. I'll back him up five. Yeah, I'm like you, Jeff. I felt this earthquake shake just a little bit. All right. High formation. Catch defense. Dig down. They shift a little bit. Now they look to the sidelines, maybe changing the play in St. Martinville. There's the snap. Big number 13 has it. There you go. Davis wraps him up. A hold. Uh, also number six for the Wild Bills. And um, that's, that's a pretty good job right there. Uh, third down and about four or five. Third and five, we'll call that. And it's uh, 420 left to go. High formation. Near side hash mark. Cats defense digs in. And they look to try to draw us offside. Cats do not budge. 440, 4, 404 left to go in this contest. They're looking to eat clock. They're going to call timeout. Yeah, they call timeout with the play clock down to zero. And we'll take one as well. Do not go anywhere. 42-39, your cats trail in an epic third, third round playoff game, just as we suspected here on All-American Country. 93.5 KJAE. Hello, this is Jacob McKee, owner of McKee Agency, and I'm mad at the rates some insurance carriers are charging. Here at McKee Agency, we pride ourselves in finding you the best coverage and even better prices. We do business with over 30 companies to offer you a superior product. Call today to find out how we can help you with your auto, home, life, health, and commercial insurance needs. McKee Agency, your choice for insurance. 337-238-2832. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. Three minutes and 59 seconds left to go in this contest. Third down and about long four, short five for St. Martinville. High formation. Cat's defense digs in. There's the snappy hand. No, he pitches it out there, and he's going to go to the far sideline. We did not. That was a that was an option play. Pitch to the far side, and we're. We got beat. That's a first down. St. Martinville inside the 20, 30 yard line down to about the 26 or 27. Yeah, Demarcus McCord shot through there, and I thought he was going to nail him, but uh, he got away. Picked up the big first down. Yeah, that was a that's a play we haven't seen all night. It's just a pitch to the far side. Far side hash mark are the are St. Martinville. They lead in this contest 42-39. <clears throat> Three minutes and 35 seconds left to go. They're trying to eat up as much clock as they possibly can before they score, I think. High formation, quarterback under center. Oh, they and, did it again. And big boy on this side moved again. Not only did he move, he yeah. that's going to back them up five. Yeah, but they'll get to keep the clock burning. Yeah, Office Cats made that little shift on, uh, on the defensive line. And when they did, there was two of them. The guard and the tackle both moved, but the 
the big guy. When he moved, yeah. he had to go forward to get yeah. all the to Well, those shifts are uh, they're nice, and if they're not expecting them, you know, they think that the cats are coming across. But on uh, offense, you're not supposed to move till the ball moves. But at any rate, you got to know the snap count. <laughs> all right, our formation. Far side hash bar. There's the snap. Looking to throw. Uh, look right up the middle goes number 13, and he's hit. He's going to gain about two yards. Maybe, uh, maybe. Let's see. Nope. Oh, got there. Marking him with a yard gain. Bring up second down, and we're going to call that 14. Yeah, second and 14. Ball at the Wapscat 30 yard line. But the clock is going, and it's still rolling down to 2:35. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. The play clock's down to 11 seconds, and they haven't broke the huddle yet. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. They just get it off. There's a snap. Number 13 has it, and he's going to be run over some Wampus cats, and he's going to go into the end. Hold. Oh, the play's going to come back. There's going to be a hold. There's a flag. Yeah, uh, big. I think they're pointing at big number seventy nine, and uh, I think there's a hole. But again, the problem is pushing back fifteen. They get another twenty five seconds to yeah. on the clock. I mean, we're down yeah. at two oh five now. I'll come to you in just a second. Well, let's do. It. We got time. Let's go to uh, Chuck Owen for an Alford Motors sideline report. Uh, was second and 14 on that play, folks, and they scored a touchdown, but they, they get a hold, so now they're pushed back. The problem with high school rules, though, is when the clock's running and you get a penalty, you get to run it again, so they're going to get to burn another 25 seconds before they run their second down play. The good news is they didn't score. We still got a shot. Yeah, well, you can rest assured these Leesville Wampus Cats will not quit. Uh, they will represent... Wampus Cat Nation, like the like we were like we're used to. Two minutes left to go in this contest. I formation. They call for the football. Pitches it to the tailback. He's going to throw the football. And how about an offensive pass interference there? Yeah, that's what a hell of a play. Heck of a play. Excuse me. Well, the uh, the receiver when he goes down, uh, sorry, uh, Arias Sawyer was in in. Uh, that was a halfback pass. Yeah, I did but, not the, but he pushed out. He put he pushed off of uh, the receiver pushed off. Yeah, I that would have been that should have been offensive pass interference. Darius Allen, uh, Darius uh, Allen, yeah, on defense. But I mean that should have been he pushed off and that that should have should have been no flag, no call. But uh, uh, a minute fifty eight left to go. Thirty uh, forty two thirty nine. Your cats trail. And uh, that was a halfback pass, number 13. There's the staff. He had 13 has it. He's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. This is a good football team, good hard running team. And that, folks, is probably a minute 53 left to go. It would take a Christmas miracle. Well, now, I'm just saying, let's hey. Let's just see what happens. Stranger things have happened. All right, everybody's ready. There is the kick. It's up, and it is good. So you score. What is that? I got a light out. 49-39. 49-39. Your Wampus Cats trail with a minute 53 left to go in this contest. Man, don't go anywhere. We never know. Ten, ten points were behind, and these these little Wampus Cats are not. I repeat, not going to quit. So, don't go anywhere. Keep it right here. All American Country 93.5 KJAE. We- <laughs> Hey, this is old Lester Slept. I just left that big old nursing home, the Woodlands. Old Jeff Johnson told me to come by here and tell you all about that brand new building he's got up there behind Market Basket. That thing is huge. You got a movie theater? It's got a big old gym? 
I ate four pounds of ice cream when I went up there and seen him yesterday. He's way too busy to come out here and cut a radio ad, so I came out here and did it for him. Go by there and see him or buy a micro basket. You can get your uh, steaks and your taters and your chips for your weekend barbecue down in your micro basket, and then you can go up there and see him. All right, I'll see you later. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. There's a kick, and it's going to be taken by Tolbert. Tolbert's in at the 20 yard line. He's at the 25, 30, 35, 40 midfield. Inside the 40 yard line, down inside the 30. Where do they have him marked out? At about the 28 yard line goes to Juan Tolbert. I told you not to give up on these about kids. 20. Yeah. We'll put him out at the 28 yard line. 28 yard line goes to Juan Tolbert on a nice kickoff return. All right. Now, in near side hash mark, all the Wampus Cats, a minute 41 left to go in this contest. Tober split out to the far side. Single back in the backfield with Mount is Gallishaw. Now there's a pump fake. He's going to throw it to Tobert. Tobert can get there. It's incomplete. Coverage, good coverage, and uh, it was just a little bit underthrown. Well, that defender had had good, good position on Tobert. And uh, that was just a battle all the way down the field, but a great throw. Yeah, I think that was, if, if I had to guess, I thought, I'd say that was a little bit underthrown, but still. Uh, Mark, St. Martinville's taking a timeout. Timeout, St. Martinville. We'll take one as well. Here on All-American Country, 93.5 KJAE. Get in, get out, and get better with Sabine Urgent Care. They're open and ready to help. So see Dr. Crow and his nurse practitioners, Heather and Tracy, for sports physicals, wound care, splinting or injuries of any kind, skin tag removal, help with ingrown toenails, laceration repair, and much more. Sabine Urgent Care accepts most insurance. Call 404-4106 or just walk in for an appointment Monday through Friday from 10 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 10 to 6. 1015 for Tita Boulevard, right next to Thrifty Way Pharmacy. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. You know, you talk about that Wampus Cat spirit, that Wampus Cat pride. Let's see. It's living in these Wampus Cats right here. Near side hash mark. They trail by 10, but they're not quitting. Gallasol. Dante Gallasol. I see Caleb back in. Caleb's at the slot. I see Noah Lane at the near side tied in. Tobert split out to the far side. Sawyer to the next. There's a snap. There's a pump fake. No, he heads it to Gallasau on a little on a little uh, draw play. Gallasau goes to the far side, kicked out of bounds at the 10. First and goal, Wampus Cat. And what makes that so good, too, is it stops the clock with a minute 27 to go. Everybody expected pass, just that uh, delayed handoff. Off. Delayed handoff, and he scooted down the field, so first and goal. First and goal. Minute 24 left to go. There's the snap. And it's the same play, delayed handoff. Touchdown! He goes in, into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness gracious. A minute 17 left to go. Wow. What do you think about that? Charles Owens, what do you think about that? How about them Wampus Cats? They don't quit, do they? No, sir. They do not. There's the Pike song we hear in the background. I tell you, the fan base, I, I, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the stands are full, and we're about three or four deep all the way across. People are up. All right. Here we go for the extra point. There's a snap. It's high, but he gets it down, and he hits it through. So, what is that? 49 to 46. Six. Your Wampus Cats trail, but, boy, don't go anywhere. Keep it right here. All-American Country, 93.5 KJAE. The festive holiday season is upon us, and you'll be happy to know there's a place in town where you can gather with family, friends, coworkers, and more to celebrate your holiday get-together both during and after hours. The Ranch House Cafe. Just call 392-2262. Tell them how many will be in your party and let them take care of the rest. Party at the Ranch House or pick up a sandwich or dessert tray and party at your place. Call 392-2262 and make it memorable with the Ranch House Cafe. Highway 171 North in Leesville. 
Mike Anderson has served the people of Vernon Parish for well over 30 years. Whether it's a personal injury, workers' comp, or divorce proceeding, let a homegrown attorney take care of your needs. Call for a free consultation at 239-9076. That's 239-9076. Mike Anderson, a proud sponsor of Area Youth Sports. Big, biggest kick of the day of the year right here. Oh, no, it's close. And it's the close. Cats are in a scrum. It's close. All the fans on the other side say we have it. Wow. Let's wow. See. Wow. I can't tell. They, they're onside kicking. We got it. Hell has the football. We got it. Oh, what a game. Do you hear that fan base over there? I'm telling you. They are they're as loud as they possibly can. Leesville will have the football inside the 45-yard line. Was the onside kick was the up guy. He, he just let it roll past him and, and didn't even fall on the ball, and the Cats were coming, and they fall on it. First down and 10. Cats have it wow. at the St. Martinville 45-yard line. A minute 15 to go. Cats down by three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. High formation for the Wampus Cats. Gallishaw and Gallishaw back in the backfield. Far side hash mark. Moving from right to left. Spread for it. Here we go. There's the snap. Caleb has the football. Caleb breaks forward. Gains about six yards. Down inside the 40. Down to about the 37-yard line. Nice run. Second down and four. Yeah, you like that. that. Because one minute. minute to go. One minute left to go. Now, everybody's ready. Timeout, and the Wampus Cats were getting ready to snap it. And St. Martinville had to call a timeout. Let's keep it right here. I don't, my nerves are shot in my <clears throat> yeah, throat, throat they, history. Yeah, so, they had uh, to call a timeout. You know, the Cats, they should have still have two timeouts left. So, uh, 58 seconds. The ball is at the Tiger 39-yard line. Cats, just 30. Nine Alford. yards away. Alfred Motor sideline report. Charles, how you doing over there? Um, I am beside myself. I have never seen I'll a high school contact like this, a contest like this. These kids are fighting their hearts out. The fans are fighting their hearts out. Come on, y'all. Oh, look. They got to feel the, the fan base behind them. All right. High formation. Mount with the football. Second down and about four. Just under a minute left to go. They got to score a touchdown or at least uh, three points to uh, tie the game. Mount looking to throw. Does throw. He got to, he's going to man. It's overthrown, thankfully, because he threw it into triple coverage. And Tolbert was uh, running there, but he had three defenders with him. So, okay, third down and four now. Clock stop 52 seconds left to go. All right. Can't now let's it. go down to Charles Owen for an offer. I, I love our coach's guts on that. I do. I love his audacity. didn't work, but I love his audacity. Third down and four. Definitely four down territory. Wow. Now looks to the sidelines. Coach Scoggins tells him what to run. Big third down. There's the snap. He hands it to Gallasaw. Gallasaw. Oh, oh forward close, close short. Close, close yeah. short. It's oh, close. It's going to be at the down at about the 39 yard line. I don't know. It's fourth down. They still uh, fourth in a yard. All right, they're going to call for a measurement here. How does it look from the stands? I'm walking over the line. Uh, I mean, I think we can't. See. I think it's it's real close. I can't call it. It's that close. Depends on how bad they sc- if they scrape that pig good enough, we'll be all right. Yeah, if somebody didn't have a pig roast, they they need a measurement on this. Yeah, I mean it's it's that close. I can't. I'm looking at the uh, uh, where the stick is. You know, we'll be we running pig all year long, and I hope I hope St. Martinville isn't aware of that, and I hope hope this works. Okay, they got it right. It's fourth down. Fourth down in a yard. Cat. They're going to put everyone down, down right center. here. Down there, down to here, right here. Mount. Here it comes. Under center. Calls for the football. He keeps it. He got, got it. Forward. He's down. got the first down. First down. Inside the, inside the 25, uh, excuse me, 35, down to about the 33-yard line. 43, 43 seconds Mount. left. 43 seconds left to go. Mount. Trying to get these Wampus cats into the end zone for the score. There's the snap. He throws it. Touchdown! 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 Touchd
my God. They were leading just from a tight end. They were looking for Dewan Tolbert. Noah Lane just lets go from his releases from his tight end position and makes now, the catch. And he did it and caught it in full stride. He goes into the end zone. There's still four no seconds left. Oh, my goodness. I hope y'all will send a, a mental message to the coach that we kick this ball out of bounds and not even let them try to return this. What are they What are they talking about now? I don't have a clue. I, I don't have a clue. Are they saying we didn't score? Uh, are you serious? Do you see me go into the end zone? Yes, he went into the end zone. Well, I was behind the players. I couldn't see anything. No, he went in there. They're calling it. They're calling it. Touchdown. Touchdown. They're calling it. I don't understand what it, what was even the controversy. All right, touchdown, Waffles Cat. So, can we stop them for 42 seconds is the question of the night. What is the score, Jeb? I can't see past that. 52-49, it's about to be. We're about to go for a kick. It's 52-49 right now. 49-46 right now. I mean, uh, yeah. All right, Mount, uh, excuse me, Ward will be the kicker. I'll fire the holder. Brett Pope, the deep snapper. <clears throat> off fire calls for the football. It's high. Oh, they're offside. They're, they're going to call them for offsides. 52 49, your Leesville Wampus Cats lead. Unbelievable. You got you talk about Wampus Cat pride. That's it right there. <clears throat> My goodness, man. Oh. Viewing audience, this is amazing. Yeah. All right. Ward will be the kicker again. We're going to do it offside again. again. Plays kick. It's off. They're offside again. But it's good. Can they decline it? It's going to be. Okay. Offside again. We get a third do over. Sorry about my voice. I knew it was going 52, to go. 49 right now. 42, sec- 42 seconds left to go in this contest. Snap, place, kick, it's up. It's good. And it is good. 52, 53, 49. Your lead for Wampus Cats lead. 42 seconds left to go. We're going to send it back to the station. This is should. Can I charge double for this commercial? Yes, we know we can. Here on All American Country, 93.5 KJAE. What happens when Dairy Queen takes everyone's favorite part of a cinnamon roll and turns it into an oven-hot breakfast delight? You get DQ Baked Cinnamon Pull-Aparts. It's the sweet, gooey middle of a cinnamon roll, hugged tenderly by more sweet and gooey middles, wonderfully baked and drizzled with vanilla glaze. It's the perfect bite in every bite. DQ Baked Cinnamon Pull-Aparts. Goodbye, boring breakfast. Good morning, DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. Welcome back, Wampus Cat fans. I apologize for my voice. I knew it was going to go sooner or later, but I thought I'd at least get to the back back side of the game. But uh, let's go down to Charles Owens for an Alford Motors sideline report. I was just telling Carol and Lawrence down here on the sideline, folks, that these kind of things don't only happen to teams I pull for and not – I mean, these happen against teams I pull for. This yeah. is amazing, this comeback, guys. Amazing. Uh, it really is. Uh, all right, there's uh, – Ward kicks the ball off. And it's going to be an onside kick, and uh, they're going to uh, – St. Martinville will get it this time, but think, it's back a little bit further. It's not, I think they would just try to, you know, swim it down there and, and – uh, and I hear you. So I would have to pick I hear you. thing I'm up. to you. Just a Let the audience know, guys, listen, they, I don't think – I think they're out of timeouts. If we can keep them in the field and keep them from getting out of bounds, you know, we've got our best chance, and we can't let them get behind us. Dewan Tolbert's going in at the station. Yeah. 40 seconds left. I, like, I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be running Hail Marys right now. I think they're going to try to run plays. Yeah, they're going to run plays because they got 40 seconds to do it. They can get out of bounds. Uh, all right, I see the offensive, the right offensive tackles on the left side. Now what? Timeout cats. Timeout Wampus cats. They were running an off-balance line. I don't think we were ready for it. And uh, Wampus Cats call a timeout. We'll send it back to the station for a short message from some of our sponsors on one of the best games I've called probably in my life here on All American Country. 93.5 KJ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Jason Benoit. And on behalf of the entire Benoit 4 team, we want to say thank you. 
Your business has allowed us to donate over $20,000 back into children's activities and local charities. And in the past few months, thanks to our customers, we're the fastest growing Ford dealership in the entire Memphis region. So from all of us here at Benoit Ford, to all of you, thank you! Hey, Lenny, this is something the Waffles Cats, they've got to do something right here they haven't been successful with. They've got to stop this powerful running game. Yeah, I have to watch that quarterback. Watch that quarterback. There's the snap. He drops back. They go, funky looking play. He's going to go out of bounds. Everybody drops whenever the ball was snapped. I don't get it, but uh, out of bounds he goes. He does not try to get five yards at a time. We're yeah. playing so, so deep under. They're, they're going to try to just scoot it up the field a little bit at a time. Now, clock seven, 34 seconds. Gain of six on that play. We'll call that third, second down, and nine. St. Martin, 34 seconds left to go. Why isn't the clock running? Because he ran out of bounds. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Wasn't paying attention. Three, three wide outs to the far side, one to the near. There's the snap. And uh, the quarterback's the quarterback running. running. Ah, there you go. And out of bounds he goes. 28 seconds left to go. He's got the first down, but most, uh, but the, uh, most importantly, that blasted clock has stopped. Yeah, inside the 45, down to the 44-yard line. Well, you got so a good, we, smart quarterback. Can't beat deep. Yeah, I think works. they're trying to bait us and pull us in. I think so too. Uh, but Colbert's playing way back. Yeah, I like that. I like that play. Third, three wide to the far, one to the near. Quarterback calls for the football. He's going to throw it into the flat. It'll be a double it's pass. Not, it's going to be a double it. pass. Watch it, Wilkes. And he comes. Oh, stop! Uh, the offensive lineman uh, messed it up. Line touched it. He, that's going to be ineligible, man. Damn field. You know what happened? He can't touch the ball right. like that. And right. he was on the line, and they was going to throw it to the there was number five be. who come out this way. And the uh, offensive lineman just kind of uh, middle breakdown stuck his hand up and knocked the pass away. Yeah. Well, you got to understand when you got a big number on your. If you're an offensive lineman, you can't do that. Yeah, Let's he, go down. He to wasn't down. Charles too. Owens for an Auburn Motors sideline report. I heard he tapping. What happened? It was, he must have lost battery. All right. Illegal touching. That will back them up. 20 seconds left to go. They have it first down. Should be second. First down and 15. 20 seconds left to go. Ball sitting right at midfield. Cats defense has got to stop him right here. All right, there's the snap. That's a messed up. There you go. There you go. There you go. And boy, are we wrapping And they kept him in the field of play. Kept him in the field of play. 12 seconds. 10, 9, 8. They're going to try to spike it. They spike it with five seconds left to go on the clock. Oh, this, it comes down to this. Well, that was a good heads-up play by that defense. Keep the quarterback. They, it's still going to be third and 11, but they got five seconds left to go. But they kept them in the field of play. They're out of timeouts. Oh, my goodness. So they had to come up and spike it. This is the play. Now, your defense has played lights out all year long. you got to ask them one more time. One more time. You just do what you got to do. This, folks, is the second lead we've had in this game yes. since the first quarter. That is something. This is just down to this. Leesville goes home if they score. If not, we move on to the next round. There's the snap. There's another pass that they're going to throw. A double pass, and it's ball. It's good. No good. Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams. Cat win. Cat win. Oh, Tyler Adams comes up. They try to run that same pass to the semi. To the semifinals we go. Unbelievable. The Whoppers Cat. But let me tell you something. This. If I was a if I was a St. Martin fan, I would be just so proud of my kids. Cause look, they left it on the field. Every dang, every one of them left it on the field. I can't say enough. What a game! Two two teams that were just going at it. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! Fifty three to forty nine. Your leads to oh, Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness! And I gotta tell you. The hospitality here at St. Martinsville has been second to none. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's been a great <clears throat> Oh, Charles Owen, I know you're going to get a hold of some coaches for me. I, oh. I will after I yeah, take my like, heart medicine. Yeah, do this. 
take your time. Coaches, I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm wa- watching our coach a little bit. He's I'm talking so, to number three. So proud. You know, guys, so I'm proud of that, of that Wapas Cat base. Sometimes it's just your year. Unbelievable. And for us to come back down two minutes to go, down by 10 points, oh, come back God. and win a game, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. I, I cannot get over this. I, it's just stunning. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I mean, you know, the Cats had to uh, – that was an uh, unbelievable fought back. Ah, shoot. I was trying to get give Coach Provo a hug, and I ran out of – I ran out of line. Short. I ran out of line. But, uh, oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Okay. Sorry, I didn't even hear what Charles said. I'm sure it was something, you know, uh, very uh, – Coach is hugging his son. Oh, well, I guess so. Can you imagine? Well, can you, you know, imagine? I got to tell you, though, what a what a great – football venue and this will go down as one of the one of the greatest games in, in Wampus Cat now history. Look at the fog over this field. This that's exactly right. There's a fog coming over this field, just like there was back in eighty five when these two teams played. Oh my god. Unbelievable game. football game. How about it? You know this is gonna be a probably a pretty good little sound bite we're gonna oh, get here. What? <laughs> You're right. Ryan. Uh, Ryan Make sure you got the uh, record on, because I know this. Is yeah, make sure great. it's recorded, Robbie. Yeah. Wow. All right, Charles, you you getting close? To yeah, him. he's right at him, out at the EM over there. Oh my goodness, what a game! Ugh. Oh, go ahead and nose up in there. Yeah, we're uh, we're trying to get uh, Coach. Uh, All right, Coach, Coach Robicon. Congratulations! How about those cats? How about huh? those cats? Holy cow! Wow! <laughs> Speechless. I tell you what, points to those cats that made the trip, man. Hey. They got their ten dollars worth getting here at five o'clock, didn't they? They sure did. Oh uh, man, what can you say about these kids? That just you know, that's the best team we faced. I knew it. I, I knew we couldn't stop. I mean, they were just so explosive. Best quarterback, running back we faced, so big up front. We were right a lot of times, but they made your wrong just because of how good they were. Yeah. You know, and uh, but our kids, you know, I, I saw it a little bit. You know, our hands dropped, but you know, just keep fighting. What you tell them? That's what men do. You know, life is about always climbing that mountain. Every day, you get knocked down, and you got to climb it. Yes. Well, coach, coach, coach is emotional. Not be any more proud of you than we are. That's emotional. That's what y'all have put in all year long. Hey, we're in the semifinals. Three years. Hey, we're, we're, like, we're in the semifinals. We're proud of you. We're proud of you. Coach Rock. Oh, my goodness. Hey, that's always smart. I tell you what, I've seen a Wampus cat rise to the occasion tonight, baby. Oh. I've never seen this happen to a team I pulled for. Well, I know it. I know it. I know it. Hey, dude. You know, when it got down just a few minutes left, I said, we're going to win this thing. Now uh, we just could feel it. Good, great job. Oh.